Hi, this is Trisha from Lemon Paper Lab. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a custom frame for Canva with the help of Photoshop. First off here in Canva, I just want to show you what a frame is. So under elements, you have the option to search for frame. And so you can uh, select a frame here. And then uh, what a frame allows you to do is you can insert a photo or a video and that photo will take the shape of your frame. So if we just look for a image of a dog here, um, we can bring that image into our frame and it will take the shape of our frame. Uh, searching for uh, frames here again, uh, what you'll notice is that Canva does have a lot of options for frames here, um, but you might find yourself in a position where there's a specific shape that you want to use that you can't find within Canva. You can create your own custom frame uh, using Photoshop. I also have a tutorial on how to do this with uh, Illustrator um, as well, which I'll leave a link in the description below. Um, but we're going to use uh, Photoshop today to help create a custom frame. So let's go ahead and go over into Photoshop. And then we are going to start by creating a new file. Uh, go ahead and choose uh, your file size here. And you want to make sure that you have artboard selected um, because this won't work unless you um, select artboards. And then go ahead and click on Create. So let's go ahead and add a shape. For this, I'm just going to use the uh, custom shape tool here. You can find it under the shape tools. I'm selecting the custom shape and then we will search for our shape here. Uh, so looking here under legacy shapes and more, um, all legacy default shapes. And then uh, just scrolling down, let's go ahead and find a shape here. Let's try this uh, dog paw shape here. If for some reason you do not see the legacy shapes in more um, in your Photoshop, just go to Window, select Shapes. Uh, clicking on the menu icon here, you'll just need to click on Legacy Shapes and More, and they will be loaded into your Photoshop. So we'll go ahead and get rid of that panel here. So we have our paw shape here, and then we'll just drag it out here, and then add just moving it to the center. Just make it fill our canvas here and then we can just center it here. Uh, so now that you have your shape, whether you created your own custom shape using the pen tool or you combined uh, various shapes to form a shape, um, in this case we used the custom shape tool um, with built-in shapes from here in Photoshop. Uh, but once you have your shape, you also need to add an image into your document. So let's go ahead and add an image. I'm going to go place embedded. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and just use a image that I found from Unsplash, which is a website where you can find uh, free for commercial use uh, images. So we'll go ahead and put that in our project here. I'm just going to zoom out, Command or Control minus here, and then I just fill the uh, shape here with our image. Go ahead and accept that there. And then uh, to create the clipping mask, just go ahead and right click and select Create Clipping Mask. And so now our image is in the shape of our object. So now that we have um, created that clipping mask, we now need to export this as a PDF. So you're going to go to File, Export. And this is why we needed to have it as an artboard, because um, if you start your document without making an artboard, then uh, this um, option is uh, not available. So you need to initially make it an artboard. So we're going to go Artboards to PDF. Here you can select your destination. Go and click on open and then you can um, change your file here. So we'll go dog paw for our file name. And then we have here our board contents only. And you can select whether you want to include background and export. We're going to leave that checked because we just have a transparent background. And then uh, you can leave the um, options the same here. And then we'll just go ahead and click to run. And then it will give you uh, this pop-up saying that your artboards to PDF was successful. And then we can just go ahead and click on OK here. So now we are going to jump back into Canva. Uh, because we saved our document as a PDF, you cannot um, upload it here 
under the upload section within a document you have to actually go back in to uh, your home screen here and then we can go to uh, projects and then just click this plus icon to upload uh, go ahead and select your file here and then click to open uh, scrolling down here after it's been uploaded you'll see your uh, design here so we'll go ahead and click into that document and uh, now we have our dog paw with our image in it if i click on it and then hit this trash icon it will give me the option to uh, delete the image and now we see that it will behave uh, like a typical canva frame so let's go ahead and go back to elements here and then uh, we can search for our dog photo here again as uh, selecting our photo you can add your picture of your dog in this case it doesn't work so let's go to um, so let's go ahead and search for buffalo plaid and then uh, we can use this texture here we can bring it into our photo and it will fill the shape of that frame and then you can easily uh, create a design from this um, uh, what I recommend with this file is you can create a, a specific folder where you save all of your um, custom frames that you create within Canva or you can create like a master file and then you can just copy and paste this element over into a new Canva document and make that like your master document where you save all your uh, custom frames and then maybe just create a bookmark or something where you can easily access that document. Thank you for watching this video on how to create a custom frame for Canva with the help of Photoshop. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment below. This is Trisha from Lemon Paper Lab. See you next time.